an MCL. Um, they think it's not so bad. It's a little bit lighter grade two. So from the date of injury, they think maybe three to five weeks. Tyler had a successful surgery we already talked about. Liam and Calvin are fully in training uh, and are eligible for this weekend. Um, so we'll, we'll make a, a decision today exactly what we do with that and what the plan will be. Uh, Joffe has a little bit of a back issue. That's why he didn't play in the 23 games. Uh, and we think that he'll be ready for the match, but we're not totally certain. Lewis Bate and Jamie Shackleton both picked up um, injuries in that match, so they, they might not be available. And, and Leo is, is actually doing quite well, and we're hopeful that next week or, or at the end of next week he might be in training. So that'll be, a, that'll be important for us to have another uh, option in the back. Good. I mean, I'll just quickly reference the, the, the 23s match against Manchester United. I thought it was a really good game for a lot of our guys. Um, we're trying club-wide slowly to implement a new playing style and, and, and have it be put to practice at all these games. And I, and I thought that the 23s uh, showed um, a lot of aggression, uh, a lot of quality, and, and a lot of clarity in terms of the way we wanted to play. So I think the staff... Andrew and his staff have done a really good job with that group, and we were really happy to, to see them play so well and get that win. Just on Liam and Calvin, Jesse, how much does that add to the boost of that win against Norwich, the fact that you've got two players like that available once more? Yeah, I spoke with both of them, and I said, listen, obviously it's it's a big boost for th those two personally, but I think the the presence that they have in our team, that it's a it's a big momentum uh, positive momentum swing for us as a as a group. So, um, you know, they're both quality players. They're both great personalities, and and I think that it'll make us stronger and stronger. So, like I said, we'll see exactly what the plan was of how many minute how many minutes they can play or what it will be. Um, but just having them back in training is is big is big. Can you put into context then as well the transformative effect of that late goal against Norwich? Just how big was it for you personally? How big is it for the club? Yeah, I mean, for all of us, I think there's been a full investment in the transformation of the playing style and, 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 and having me here. I, I'm very thankful for the team and the club and the fans for how, how accepting they've been of me. Um, I know that with bad results, those things always get stre uh, stressed. So, and with good results comes a lot of positive support and momentum. So... Um, it was a big day and a big moment, and the key for us is to now, now use it in every way to make us better and stronger and not just rely on the fact that, that it was a good moment. Um, so that, that will certainly be our goal going into this next match. Where does it rank in your best moments in football? And imagine it would have carried on afterwards. You spoke to us when you first arrived yeah. about what it's been like around the hotel. I imagine there's been a, a few words that have been said to you. Yeah, I mean, it was... Someone said to me that one of the videos that they put out of, of like the celebration had almost 7 million views or something like that. So, I mean, that, that's incredible to me to think about that. Um, certainly, I think even being around the city and, and the fans, the way that they, have, they kind of um, appreciated and enjoyed the moment. Um, you know, the, the other moment in my, I think, coaching career was uh, in 2010 I was in the World Cup as an assistant and we scored a last second goal Landon Donovan against Algeria to 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 win uh, maybe it's not right to bring up here but we won the group phase in a in a, a country called England finished second that, that, <laughs> that year if there's a downside at the moment is it not being able to keep a clean sheet just yet yeah but I think we've been pretty stable Defensively, I mean, even our expected goals until the the last crazy phase of the game against was really, really low. I think below below 0.5. So, you know, we 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 talked about how disappointed we were in, from the Villa match um, from every perspective. I, I and certainly I have to take responsibility for that. I wasn't. We weren't prepared enough. We weren't clear enough with how we wanted to play. We weren't aggressive enough, and 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 we looked we looked like it. So um, we wanted to make sure that having the quick turnaround that we, we put a totally different 
uh, performance together and we were able to do that and now we need to make sure that going forward that we never have a nev- another performance like what what Villa was so it's not a ne- it's 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 a negative reminder but it's more about a positive response and making sure that we understand mentally and and then um, exactly what we how we want things to look on the pitch tactically so that so that we're we're continuing to get better every match I'm playing on a Friday do you look at it as an opportunity to put real pressure again on those teams around you in that battle Every I, I, my focus is entirely on us, and and every match is a chance for us to show that we're better and clearer, stronger, and more ready. So that's the total focus is about development and the process of us getting better. That's that's exactly where I'm at. Just find it for me on Patrick. Uh, how did you come through those 45 minutes? Are you okay? Yeah, I think you know he was a little sore, and and physically the game was very demanding. So I think it, uh, it was. Physically, and not just with the injury, but uh, his entire body continuing to adjust to what the demands are going to be for for these upcoming games. But he seems to come out of it in a good way, and he should be ready for for tomorrow. Yep. Hi, Jesse and Rodrigo as well. You're happy that he's going to be okay for tomorrow? Yeah, we're Rodrigo. I think um, he will train today, and we're we're hopeful that everything uh, is is going to be ready to go. Um, when we did the scan, it seems like he has a little bit of an old injury, and it's just about managing some of the symptoms. Uh, so we're hopeful that he'll be ready also for.